That hitch is just gonna rip right off this truck. Oh, dang! Whoa! What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here up on the mountain at the Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we did some stuff at the new Goon Squad garage where we finally strong seated around that whole entire building, looking absolutely amazing. And also we did some stuff at the new Goon Squad house over here, finally fixed that foundation, which was huge. And also we poured our concrete in the garage. So things are moving right along over there. The next step is to start framing, which is gonna be in a couple of days. And the Goon Squad garage is gonna be put on pause for a couple of days because the next step is gonna be paved which we're scheduling all that stuff in so today's video is gonna be a little bit different but I think it's gonna be mainly focused on the barn build so according to our schedule that's what we're gonna do and there's some epic stuff that we want to do there we want to build that back patio maybe like do some sort of fire pit if we have time of course that back patio is gonna take a lot of time but dude that place is turning out super epic and I think we should continue turning yeah. it into the ultimate man cave you got dude. that right so back patio is gonna be like a huge upgrade to it and also on the inside we want to do dude. like a little uh, section where we we have cabinets like some cabinets and, and stuff so i think we got some awesome stuff planned Dude, for it. it's gonna be super sweet and also today's video we're gonna start it off a little bit different it's gonna be kind of like vlog style i guess we normally wouldn't take on a big project in the afternoon which we're not but we normally don't start the video unless we start a big project but you know what we just decided to go ahead and start the video and kind of maybe vlog a little bit and what we're gonna do is our favorite thing to do is to eat, man. Is to eat and grill and chill. <laughs> and dang sauce it up, dude. And dang sauce it up. Of course, man. How'd you, you know? That, you read my mind, That's dude. what I've been craving all day. I've been craving dang sauce dude, all day, honestly, dude. Honestly, but anyways, what we're gonna do is probably start up the Viper, which the Viper we were ripping in the previous video, absolute beast. So we're gonna keep on running that sucker. And I think it might need a full entire maintenance, which I don't know if we're gonna do that. I think we're just gonna keep running it as it is, dude. Yeah, we'll just probably do that a little bit later. It needs like an oil change and also probably new spark, spark plugs, plugs or something like that. Yeah, it sounds good when like you're on full throttle and it's like pop 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 but i don't think that's normal yeah <laughs> maybe a little bit of misfiring going on yeah dude. exactly but that's some other stuff that we're going to take care of some other time we're going to run to the whole foods pick out some sort of food and maybe we'll even go out on the boat Ooh. and like beach it upside upside the, the upside the sand the dude. sand and go ahead and just grill some stuff up and just do our favorite thing you know what i mean what are we looking for my dog she keeps running away dude I, I gotta say dude that's one of the smartest dogs i've ever seen at that age you know dude, what i mean very smart i mean german shepherds right off the bat what do we got yeah, for fly. Sort of fly fruit fly dude. dude there's so much flies and bugs out here and it's super hot and one thing that i want to mention about this property up here is it gets sun 24 7 so yeah. Our bushes are dying out here. Our flowers are dying. No matter how much times we water them, because how much sun this property gets, because it's right on the peak of this mountain, and it just gets the sun just goes right across the top. Our grass is looking a little dry as well, so we've been having an issue with our grass stain, which I think we have some ideas. I think we need to uh, bring in like some composite dirt, sprinkle some seed, and I think we'll be dude, good. Let's just rattle can it. Have you seen those people oh, where they dude. spray paint the lawns? Or just do that one hydro seeding thing. Just hydro seed oh, the dude, whole that property. Would be insane. I think that'll be the best thing to do that out here epic but go ahead and find your dog man oh, our really? dog it's my dog too our Who dog was? let's just walk to i the guess back it's your there. dog honestly because you kind of went i went and, and got her but her it's 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 family it's not a dog it's family you know so she's part of the family that now, is very so. true she's chilling right here in the shade because this old girl always gets hot like man, she's so fluffy man like she needs to you need to like sprinkle her down with water that way she works like a radiator dang this thing is beautiful dude just in that sunlight and it's honestly it needs a wash dude, dude it needs a wash but this color makes it look good you know it what i mean does. It looks you know what clean. make it look even better dude what? a acr wing dude i keep thinking about that like an acr wing would look sick back here how big and wide it makes the car look super wide because the car is already wide but i don't know this just looks so good sometimes you know that does look super clean right there but you know you know, ACR wing kind of makes it look like a race car and like it'll catch eyes left and right. Although maybe not the exact ACR wing or you can get or or a ARP wing. They do have the company APR? APR wing, dude. I think that'll look sick. It's all carbon and stuff Ooh. like that. So who knows? I mean, let us knows. Let, let us knows, dude. Let us <laughs> knows goes. <laughs> yeah, whatever it would look. I, I don't know. It's 50-50 for me. Like I'll keep it like that or a big wing would look awesome dude, as Honestly, well. this color alone breaks necks and the car alone breaks necks. But yeah. then a wing, dude, is going to break hips dude <laughs> sounds like a harley davidson right here it does dude. man it sounds good dude hey, you got lucky there you really gotta ride the clutch in this yeah, thing right here no i don't want to but i mean i think it's got a race clutch in here it, ha it has to i mean it just 
rides like a race clutch, you know what I mean? Yeah, I remember the pre the previous owner actually reached out to us and he gave me like the whole entire spec sheet of what was done to it. It's it, got was a, a, it was a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's got a long block in it, whatever that means. I'm guessing that's a new block. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a full, I think it's a fully like redone block, like pistons, heads. I, I, I don't I don't really know, but it's a new motor technically, yeah. a rebuilt motor. And I think it's it's got like a mild cam in it, honestly, because it doesn't chop too much. But it chops good. Yeah, I tell you what, yeah, it chops perfect. You put it next to some wood and chop it clean up. Clean up. It chops the leaf so when you drive by some leaves. Oh yeah, this is this was the original leaf, leaf blower, right here, man. Yeah. In the in the fall time, dude, man, driving through the driveway, it just looks super chill. You gotta start off so so like aggressive with this car because now it's a race car. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, this is basically a race car for real. I mean, it was built for a racetrack. You know, it was it was built for the to to attack the time on yep. the Nurburgring. Which this is the TA, the time attack, and uh, apparently it held the record for a little bit. Did it, dude? That's crazy. I mean, the cars do keep records. They don't keep records long there because every year somebody's trying to break the records. You know what I mean? I think what's got this beat is the Porsche GT2 RS, or maybe like the nine, the newest 911. Really? Which we need to get one of those, dude. Porsche is on my mind all the time. Dude. I'm telling you. But another thing about this car is it is by, by far probably the lowest car we got, and literally like. Going down the mountain, you like scrape like the subframe or something. Yeah, the little bolts that stick out from the subframe, they just touch. So it's kind of it's kind of sketchy, but you know what? You just gotta take it easy, dude. I would like to build a racetrack. That'd be my dream, dude. One day, like not like a race, like an oval racetrack, like a no, actual yeah, racetrack, yeah, a race go, course, a race course. Yes, left, left and right turns. not to burn yourself on the tip. I'll tell you what, we came here to Whole Foods and this place is supposed to be green and you know how bad this thing is for the environment, dude? This is the la last naturally aspirated V10. And like nothing, straight pipe. Straight pipe, dude. Which but is honestly, the worst. It's good for like- For us. For us, it, it's good for happiness. You yeah, know? I mean, that's all that matters, you know? As long as you're happy, dude. That's you know? right, dude. That pizza right there? Hey, let, think about it. We won't have to waste any time cooking. I know you're hungry. We can get one. It'll be fast. We can get one and split it. You know. You want? You want to? Yeah. Or do you think we should just wait for that grass fed steak right there? I guess we'll wait. Let's just wait, dude. Be patient. Just cut the camera off. I might grab one. <laughs> Where did this come from, sir? I was driving by, like, sir. I was driving by and I hit something. Man. Fell in there. It happens all the time. I, I, I don't want to put it back, you know. It's like it's not worth it. I mean, it already fell in your car and you contaminate you contaminated yeah, it. Yeah, too much work. I don't want to put it back, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. Those chips almost fell in there, too. Fell in there too. We were just talking about it, and I don't think we're gonna make it to the boat. Yeah, because looking at the time right now, by the time we get there, put it's the boat in the water, start the pit, it'll be probably dark. Hey, try one of those. Ah, you broke the law. Look what it says right there. Mm. Look what it says right there, dude. They're recording me to the customer service desk. Dude, look at this, man. They got some quail eggs up in here. Remember when you had a quail farm? Dude, I had like 10 of these packs a day. Dude, and what do they easy. sell for? Six, six ninety nine. I could have, I could have sold them my eggs. Could have started a business. No, dude. apparently I could have sold them the quail itself, the bird. That's really. really for fine cuisine. Cuis cuisine, yeah. Yes. I, I, didn't we try one before? Yeah, I cooked some quail. Dude, it was really it good. It was delicious. You made like a little crusty crab cage and we had like 50 quails and then I think a raccoon got in there, right? Or what, what Something was it? Something like that. Uh, the hole was torn in the cage and they all escaped. And you did wild. the same thing with rabbits. You had some wild, or not wild rabbits, you had white rabbits, remember that? They all escaped, man. I just can't keep them. All right, let's get on out of here. Took out the good old grocery getter. And uh, we don't know where we're gonna put the groceries, honestly. Slide this seat space <laughs> and slid it back like one millimeter. Pops needs a band aid. What happened, Pops? Uh, what happened? Yesterday, I filled it up and the big water, tank, the water, and big pressure. The hose ripped it off, and I hold it, and you know, I touch it, um, those bucket, and. Oh no, the, the plastic? Not plastic, uh, and a piece of metal. Oh, the metal cage around it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, hope you get better soon. <sighs> and you need stitches? We can get you stitched up. <laughs> no. I think he's, Billy's got it for LSR. Yeah, we, stitches? 
No, oh yeah. <laughs> should we record the process or should we just have the food finished, dude? I don't know, what do you think? I mean, food finished, maybe just have the plate going. Let's do it dude. different, dude. Let's do it, let's have the food and right now. Mm, mm mm man, this is a plate right here, dude. Look dude, at that, man. That looks fire right there. Look at this. We got the mashed potatoes with the cheddar cheese on it. We got some uh, bread with some sort of garlic. Um, I think it's garlic, garlic, butter, garlic. Really good stuff. You can put it on your steak, but we do it on the bread. We got that one uh, salad right here. Of course, you got some olives. You got a little bit of that one mushrooms. That right there tastes like a dang pizza, dude. Pizza, a pizza like a seasoning or something like that. It's super good. The the mashed potatoes. The best, dude. So dude, good. Dude. What about that steak, though, dude? The steak is amazing. And when you put that dang sauce on there, man, it gives it that little kick, which just kicks you right back into your plate, and you keep on digging, dude. I know it, dude. <laughs> I can't wait to make mine. Look at this. We got the steak over here. We got everything ready. Man, we got this stuff right here. I'm dude, telling you. Dude, just a couple minutes at home, and you can have yourself, with the dang sauce, a five-star meal. Tell them how, like, how fast you can get this stuff right here, dude. dude. You can get this stuff fast. With Amazon Prime especially, Actually, dude, you can get this stuff quick. It's ready to go on Amazon. No more waiting. As soon as you order, buy whatever speed shipping you want to buy. If they had the airdrop from the sky, dude, they'd get to you tonight. Dude. Best link is on the forehead. When they start shipping through drones, dude, y'all can get this stuff as soon as possible. But I say you go ahead and make your plate and let's have a good dinner. All right, so we had us a nice little dinner there, guys. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it for the vlog style. I think tomorrow we're just going to dive right into getting some work done. We're going to probably run to the barn and uh, go ahead and get like our idea of how we're going to build that back patio. Then we're going to probably run to the Home Depot, bring back our whole entire lumber package because, of course, we got to get some treated lumber. We're not going to use the sawmill. And I think we're just going to get some work done tomorrow in the morning. Damage anything? Back it up. You didn't put in the e brake? Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and we already did a bunch of brainstorming. A lot of stuff already happened this morning. First things first, you almost lost your quad down the mountain. That was pretty crazy right there. The e-brake failed or something Dude, along those lines. Dude, need to tighten it up a little bit, man. Yeah, we'll take care of that a little bit later. And then we went down to the barn where we started doing a bunch of brainstorming and a couple measurements or whatnot. And we decided to listen to you guys and actually build a retaining wall instead of building that back patio first. So 
We found a company locally that has these big old blocks right here. These are called Ready Rocks and they're stackable. Look at this, dude. This is so cool right here. This is roughly around like $2,000 worth of commercial grade stacking blocks right here. This is super cool. You basically just hook a chain and a hook right there and you lift them up and you can just- Adult Legos. It's exactly that's right what, there. That's what that is right 100%. there, dude. And we're actually gonna have to do a little bit more dirt work at the bottom over there by the barn because we wanna make sure that the first uh, layer of blocks is perfectly smooth. So that's gonna be the most important thing. So I think we're gonna probably get a couple blocks down there first and then we'll probably start doing the dirt work, maybe clear a couple of trees. Yeah, because we can't back this trailer no, no, no. with the truck. It's so much oh, weight no. that it'll probably just slide off with that gravel, dude. Dude, this right here might be heavier than the excavator alone, which excavator is like 20,000 pounds and this, that your Dodge barely made it up here. What's up, Pops? You want a Ford instead? You want a Ford? <laughs> My truck's not enough strong. <laughs> yeah, that for that, this heavy, so heavy. A yeah. lot of weight, dude. I wonder how much like each individual block weighs. What do you think, dude? I don't know, dude. I'm sure this is probably a little over twenty thousand pounds, dude. I think so too. I'd say probably around like what five hundred pounds a block, or maybe seven hundred yeah. pounds. Maybe more. Maybe a thousand, dude. These suckers yeah, are heavy, dude. but you know what? It's gonna hold that barn intact. You got that I'll right. You that right there. For and sure. also, look at the hat I got on right here. That's gonna. I mean business. That, that means you're about to lay some block, dude. <laughs> exactly, dude. I'm actually uh, the reason why I dropped this on is because it's been really hot. The sun's been just like the nate been burning, burning, beaming dude. down. Dude, this is the perfect hat right here, but. Anyways, right now we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go ahead and unstrap this stuff. Probably use the excavator to just load a couple of these blocks into the bucket over there, take them down over there, and hopefully lay our first layer. We finally, after all those comments, man, we built a retaining wall, dude. dude. Not only just any retaining wall, the most epic, legit retaining wall you can get right you here, You got dude. that right. So this right here is a little bit of overkill. These blocks are made for like commercial, made for huge hills. But you know what? We wanted to make sure this barn don't go sliding off. Like everybody said, this thing might go sliding off in like a week or so. We made sure to drop some heavy duty, big old blocks right here and this just looks absolutely incredible it looks amazing dude it, does. it looks super clean i'm almost wishing that we would have went with like a little bit of a different fascia maybe but honestly that yeah. looks good enough man yeah, that looks perfect it kind of matches the big rocks that are out here already yeah. so it's like super huge it looks super good and honestly that's that all we can just leave it as it is right there and it won't go nowhere dude yeah i guarantee it right there but you know what there is still a little bit of stuff that we want to do i think what we want to do is maybe go a little bit wider wider on the left and right side over here and then of course we're going to do one more layer so you got the the bottoms as you guys can tell the bottoms are just flat there and the middle's got a little insert right there i guess so you can stack
jacket and the yep. tops have another insert on the bottom but on the top it's kind of like a lip right yeah it's a lip that way it just holds everything in place that way it does not move whatsoever and these things are heavy i mean they're super they're duper moving, heavy dude. they're not moving anywhere and um one other thing that we do probably want to do is do toppers on this would they have yep. like a top block that doesn't have anything at the top it's actually like curved a little bit that's, that's what i was talking about the lip so yeah you can fill it with dirt and it's like nice and, it's, and flat on it's top. like nothing it looks like a just a a perfect little wall not it doesn't have it. these things on yeah. it right here it's gonna make it look like it's a just rock face but it's actually huge rocks dude. underneath dude this is super easy to do as well honestly yeah, man dude you just got to get the floor really straight we used the level used everything we could to get it as straight as possible you could use gravel to get the job done a lot better and a lot easier and a lot faster but you know what we didn't have gravel we just wanted to do what we got to do and we laid this stuff that dude. is right but i think in the next video we're gonna probably pick up another like load of this probably the dub double amount of this to finish off maybe even go like a lot wider to retain that section right there yeah, maybe go a one more block wider that way it just goes a little bit curves a little bit more and just holds that dirt and then we'll probably get some dirt all this dirt that we dug out throw it on top and make sure that stuff doesn't go anywhere but dude this is just this is epic and did we mention how much each of one of these cost right here dude 100 100 bucks for, yeah. for, for each of so them so we right? paid about 1800 bucks for this retaining wall and i mean we did all the work ourselves i don't know how much somebody would charge to do this you know what i mean a lot because like you got to have two pieces of equipment did you got to have have lots of like um equipment out here yeah. to get the job done and without it you're not going to get nothing yeah, done and, and without like a, a excavator like that you won't even be able to lift one of these blocks up you know what i mean because they're super heavy i believe the one that we used to borrow from our uh brother wouldn't probably lift these because it was a kind of a little smaller one and these are pretty heavy dude. dude this is so awesome that we're learning this stuff honestly always wanted to build something like this but this kind of is a good way to enter this game without actually like doing so much work because the little ones would have took forever the big yeah. ones absolutely breeze man yeah, for sure maybe next time i can build a retaining wall on the front property over there we we're already thinking big, building a big one adding more dirt having more real estate dude but that's going to be pretty much it for today's video guys we're super happy to pick up on this brand new skill right here that we're going to use on a bunch of other projects in the future but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support definitely be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace